Hi guys, it's Darlene from Talk Couture. It's Sunday night and I thought I would do another quick tutorial before I go to bed. I have our 9 by 12 palette sign here from Talk Couture and I have this transfer here, the adventure begins. There's gonna be little trees right here and then the sun is gonna be right there so it's a layered transfer. I've cut it apart already and on the back side I have put an X that tells me do not put your transfer back on that side. This side is a shiny side. The back side is a matte. When you wash this and return it to the transfer backer sheet, you want to put it on the glossy side always. If you put it on the matte side, it will stick forever. It will be ruined. So that is why I put an X there. Some people write the name of the transfer. I don't, I don't need to. I am the only one that uses these. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. This is a Takator surface, but it does need to be waxed. Some of them do. This is Howard Premium pa Paste Wax, and it is from Home Depot. I'm just gonna wax the surface, put some on a rag, and we're just gonna wipe this on there, and then wipe off the excess. You don't need a lot. You're just putting the thin coat of wa wax in between your surface and your transfer. Move that out of my way, and then I'm just going to take a paper towel and I'm going to buff off the rest of that. So you're getting most of it back off, and then I am going to get my fuzzing cloth and we are going to fuzz this transfer. And if okay, <laughs> here it is, it was hiding from me so. This is the Chalk Couture fuzzing cloth. So fuzzing a transfer means it will take off a little bit of the sticky so it's not too sticky. So when a transfer is brand new, you will need to fuzz it. You do not fuzz it if you're doing this on a shirt, um, on a towel, on any type of fabric because you want it to adhere really tightly and there's holes in the shirt, in the fabric, you have it breathes, so the surface kind of gives. So you want a really tight fit on fabric. You don't have to fuzz it when you're using it on fabric. When you're using it on wood, on a non chalk couture surface or a wood like this, like this paint might lift and we don't want that to happen. So let's get the hair off there. Don't need that on there. I'm gonna center this. And then we're gonna press out our air bubbles. So you're just gonna start in the center and start going out. This is a pellet sign, which means there are little areas that it's separated. Sometimes this chalk paste will get down into those areas and might bleed out a little bit. So I'm trying to get a really tight fit, trying to make sure that everything is adhered really solidly. Okay, I have my chalk paste here. I've already opened it and stirred it. You want it to be the consistency of sour cream or yogurt. You can spray it with a little bit of water. Just get a little spray bottle. Spray a little bit of water if it's too thick. You need it to be the right consistency so that it will spread nicely and will not dry too fast. So I have all my colors ready. I'm gonna do, the mountains are gonna be brown, the adventure is gonna be peacock, and begins is gonna be black. Then we'll come back and we'll dry that. And then the trees will be garden herb. And this um, little sunburst will be Bumblebee. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's been one of those days, just been busy and my mind is elsewhere. So I'm going to spread my chalk paste. I'm going to use one of our mini squeegees. You're just going to fill the silk screen area. Just spread it, get it down in there, and then put the excess back in the jar. Just like that. So if you go up so that you're not getting it down into your other words, that will work really well. 
go ahead and scrape at it. We're going to work quickly because we don't want our words to dry here. Don't want that chalk paste drying on the transfer. So we're going to work quickly. We're going to do our next color is Peacock. And we're simply going to spread this on here. We have a larger squeegee. And we're just going to start spreading it through the silk screen, pulling it down and across, and then smoothing it out. Once you have it all filled, then you're going to smooth it out and remove the excess. Put the excess back into your jar, just like that. And then the bottom, we're going to do this in black velvet. So that is our last, and then we're going to peel that transfer. And I have our multi-tool in here because it's longer, it's easier to use that. I'm going to use one of our small squeegees. These are our new minis, and they work really well. They're really easy to hold and control. I actually really like them a lot. I use them all the time now. So we're going to get all the excess off and then we're going to go ahead and pull our transfer. You want it to be smooth. And we're going to pull from top to bottom or side to side. You are never going to pull diagonally because diagonally will stretch your transfer. And I see that there's an area right here that the blue, um, the peacock, the when it, part of it wasn't all the way down, so I just took my finger and I just pressed on the transfer and it filled that area in. I'm going to put that into my water bath. So a water bath is simply a container of water that you put your transfer into so the chalk paste does not dry in it. I'm going to dry this. So this is a heat gun, and this is an industrial one, it is from Uline, my favorite there, Uline, and you don't have to have one like this, you can simply use a hair dryer, or a craft heat gun, or you can walk away and come back in 10 minutes and it will be completely dry. So you do not have to do this. Now I'm going to turn it to air. You want your board to be cooled back down. You do not want to put your transfer onto a hot surface. Okay, so make sure it's cooled. All right, everything looks good. This is going to go right in here. There could be a problem with our little separation there but I'm not going to stress over that. This is small. You could fuzz this on your t-shirt. You do not have to use the towel. It is small and because it's going over other chalk paste, I'm going to fuzz it five times and that is just